Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to Technoholic. In this video, I will be talking about how we can customize 2024 Outlook. And you can see here we already have opened it. If you don't know how you can enable it, then I have created a separate video which shows that how we can enable it. And I'm gonna put that video link in the description of this one. Now let's have a look on this new Outlook and then we will talk about different different customization available with it so here as i was saying i have already opened it and on the top here we will see the whole revamp of our ribbon interface the ribbon interface here look completely different than before and so some of settings for example we are not seeing the typical design language of office application for example um, that still we can see in application for example microsoft word so typically when we click here we used to see um you know this kind of uh, ui but with this new outlook we do not have count available here or in the end so now um let me click here on view where all the customization and setting exist so for example you want to create a minimalistic view you do not want to create um you know this kind of ribbon interface for that uh, what we can do here we need to click on view and then ribbon you can choose simplified ribbon so which i would say is a new interface with minimalistic options and then this kind of interface actually give you more active space to work so here we can see um, when we enable this particular layout the simplified ribbon we saw the working area slightly increased but i would say this is totally depend on us of which kind of interface you like a lot of people are comfortable with this one or we can go with classic ribbon interface as well now let's also talk about folder pane so by choosing hide we can actually hide the folder pane that we can see on the left hand side so it's up to us i would say whether we want to keep this option enable or disable and you also have an option to show and hide your favorite now let me actually click on my junk email address because i do not want to reveal my personal email because here also i can demonstrate the thing without revealing my personal information so let's have a look on this density so currently by default it is rooming if i select cozy here you can see the content is now taking less of space we can also go with compact which will further squeeze the content or put the content in a very small space now let me again make it roomy because i love roomy now let's also talk about reading pane so let me click here on show on right so what will this do is this will enable this reading pane and then i will keep all your email on the left hand side and in this way guys you can easily by clicking able to read all the message you also have an option to keep it to bottom you can see that now the reading pane is now shifted from right hand side to bottom so it's up to us where we want to keep i personally love to keep it on the right because it does not make me confused as now we can clearly see that this area is for my messages and then this is for reading pane now here comes the zoom button which enable you to zoom in your message section now let's click here on this message preview which is nothing but uh, give you kind of preview of the content inside any email so if i click on hide here you can see now we do not have any preview of our message now let's click here on settings where we will see all different kind of settings available for example if i click on account i can see account related settings and before even going to account let's see here this search setting which will basically help us to find all the settings available inside this settings section so if you are aware of which setting you are looking for and you do not know where actually it exists in these settings you can simply type that setting now let's move on to our account and we were talking about email account 
so here is the option where you can add multiple email account inside outlook and it is not only limited to outlook or office 365 account you can also add your yahoo account or your gmail account for example you can also add apple icloud account if needed and so on so simply click on add account keep your address and then click on continue in this way you will able to add your account to outlook now let me click here on this automatic reply if you want to enable automatic reply you can do that now it looks slightly different than before because of this is the previous outlook now in case of signature you can create your signature and you know you also have option of adding images although i would say this is not something new but um it looked quite different than the previous outlook we also have got option of creating categories you also have option of mobile devices and storage now moving to our next setting which is general and then here we can see appearance notification accessibility search startup and about outlook here in case of startup here we have got these three option from using them you can change the behavior of your outlook now let's click on email here what you will find is the similar setting that we already have explored that was there in layout but here you will find even more settings available for example text sizing or messaging organization or message height and so on now let's click here on compose and reply here again you will see options related to compose and reply which again gives you ample of setting to customize for example if you want to pop out a new window while you are replying or you would like to set up your own font so we can do all of these settings inside compose and reply we also have got smart suggestion attachment and then you know you can also define rules inside outlook we also have a setting of sweep junk email where you can block certain domains which you know that they are not genuine or you can also enable some of senders as safe senders or domain so that those important email should not go in junk now um we also have option of customize actions sync email message handling and we also have got this option which is message forwarding so with the help of this option you can actually forward your email to any other email which is really awesome guys then um if we go to calendar here again you will see calendar application of outlook is also saw sort of transformation from the existing one i would say calendar is also now modern and easier than before then we have got this people where you know you can customize how we going to display contact by and then we have got these two option which is first name and surname and then obviously uh, we have got this premium subscription available so this was a very quick and brief overview of almost all the appearance and setting features inside new outlook 2024 so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if you have got any questions related to outlook or its setting please do let us know in comment down below and i will try to respond them as soon as possible till then you take care and bye bye